<laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, the phase are broken as hell, so you already know what that means. Tassino taking wages again, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, look, man, we talking about Tassino taking on post-hooking. He took on another uh, two guys with Angel Melly last night. And, uh, you know, Post Hook and said he got a little something to say about that, man. We're going to talk about that whole matchup and all of this stuff. We're also going to talk about my guy, NBA 2K2. He wants to point out something that's kind of alarming about speed with ball stat and all of that. And I, myself, got a little something to talk about to y'all. Uh, myself we gonna keep that we just gonna keep that until the end man you know we're surprise topic number three so if you don't do that else like the video man because it helps me get into the youtube algorithm and it helps your boy grow the channel so we can get to 100k before the end of the whatever the, the end of the year i don't care man it really don't make me no difference i've been in this game so long that it don't it doesn't matter uh when we get to what we're gonna get to but we're gonna get there when we get there anyway man now let's get right into the video Nino! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me upset. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that heavy. Alright, now, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. A lot of y'all might thumbs this joint down because I'm just gonna tell the truth about what I gotta tell the truth about, man. Like, I gotta tell my truth, man. My truth may not be your truth. Your truth might not be my truth. Is this thing right here? It's bothering me. I'm so OCD that that little piece above my head was bothering me. But it might not be yours. But it's mine. And so we just gonna go with it, man. Anyway, man, just starting right off the bat, bro. Uh, we got uh, Tarsino. It all started here. Post looking has been crying for attention for a year now, and it's time to end his name in the community once and for all. I'm sorry. Post hooking has been crying for a name for attention in the in the in uh, huge wager. Post hooking has been crying for attention for a year, uh, for a year. So now it's time to end his name once and for all. Uh, best of seven, two v two, one thousand dollar port. Uh, start start time is eight p.m. Uh, Eastern time. Uh, 11 Eastern time. Let me see. My teammate will be Chrissy T. Chris will be D will, will be on delay. Uh, like and retweet. All that good stuff, man. So Chris is the only person that's gonna be on delay. I, I just be messing with it with the with the Tassino voice. I think Tassino's a great content creator. I think he's an awesome YouTuber. He puts on a hell of a show, all that good stuff. Uh, but you know, at the same time, Hey, hey, look, man. It, it, it just is what it is. Look, look, man. Post looking be coming around. And uh, post looking was in in a lot of people's streaks and stuff last year. I understand the uh, the whole animosity toward post looking. He's like, this dude just come around and uh, mess with my stuff. And then, so, you know, post looking puts out, if I lose, I will lead the 2K community. Now, obviously, this is like a WWE. I don't know if this was like a WWE match or. You know what I'm saying? Like like when Ric Flair, hey, I fight you for I me. Mean, we wrestle for your career, and it's already pre-set up and predetermined and stuff. Because to me, it seemed a little weird, bro. I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. And when I'm saying it seems a little bit weird, I'm saying that it seemed like, look at that right there. Uh, it seemed weird because it seemed like they made a truce off stream and said fades versus post hooks. Because I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like post hooking could have won this joint really easily. Like, I, I don't understand why you make a player the way that he made him because now you can make a player with with dribbling, you can make it with uh, post hooks, and shoot threes, and play defense. And we know that post hooking always plays with a lockdown, right? And so, I, I don't know if they went by NBA 2K21 current gen rules or what, because they always play with a lockdown, but the lockdown now would be able to dribble, dunk, and shoot. So why were they playing the way that they were playing? I, I just didn't get it because a lot of times, like, if, if, if it's going to be post-hooking, like, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. They must have just, they had to have said something like it's only post-hooks against Phase because, see, see which one is the more broken because if they had played it, like, like you know, it's just we try, I'm just trying to beat you, you trying to win, and it's go, it's all all no holes barred, I, I don't think that, that Tysino didn't win this joint. I just don't because... I see, so look at this right here, man. Look at this. This fading stuff is out of control. I feel like if I'm going to call it an exploit here, I'm going to call it an exploit when Tysino do it. I'm going to call it an exploit when, like, like post, it's, like, it's just like my my exploit ain't broke no more, and I can use it. But your exploit is broke, so now I'm going to wage you. Like, this seemed kind of, it seemed kind of crazy because, to be real, Tysino's, I mean, not Tysino, but post uh the guard that was playing with him was was going, was beating Tysino off the dribble and go, and like he was going to go to the rim and he had everything done. Look at this. That's crazy right there. He had him beat 
and he would be about to go to the rim and then he would stop and pull it out and give it a post hook and let post hook and try to post hook. Like I, I like that made literally no sense to me. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm like, bro, he could have just went to the rim and scored. And also, we know that that we know that that lockdown got 99 dunk. Why were they like that? You got you have to commit two people to post hooking. So why is he not throwing the over the shoulder uh the over the shoulder uh lob? To the, to the to the lock like I just didn't get it or just throw it over his shoulder to the lock and let him go up I didn't understand it man so that's why I was like maybe they made some type of agreement off stream if they made an agreement off stream about it um then that's cool if if post hooking was like um if post hooking was like uh he just went for the face broken they broke even when broke dude this this shit broke they need to fix that man from three come on man but uh maybe they made some type of joint and just they was just like hey uh we'll will it's it's, it's it's they made an agreement off stream or something i don't know if that's what happened but this is the only thing that really explains anything because there's literally no way that i'm gonna play it like that because i i mean you know that you have an advantage if you post hooking why wouldn't you just push your advantage to the limit but uh you know like i said another reason that i, I mean maybe he just wanted some clout because like he said he is a clout chaser and all this stuff and it's just like kids really think uh, he put his journal kids really think i'm making i'm um i left i'm just making a new beer now uh you let me see i can't read in light mode you think i'm done now i can finally get unpluckable like maybe he was just saying he'll retire that bill or something like that he's not gonna retire from the game all that good stuff and put this thing in dark mode because my eyes is old as hell uh you know and then uh you know like i said bro i, I didn't understand that one it was weird it was a it was a it was a cool wager it was entertaining as hell to watch but it was just kind of weird because i just was saying to myself why on earth does post hooking not just give the ball to his guard and let it because when christian t got the ball he would find gas and i'm talking about Gas, yeah, we gonna fire that gas. Chrissy T, when he got over with fire gas, but it was like, I don't know, maybe Post Hook can say it, I can do this by myself and I'll be able to throw this hook and, uh, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm that sensational that I can do it. But the whole point of it is, it was like I said, it was exploit on exploit and who could win and who's, uh, who's exploit failed them first. And obviously that was post hooking because you can't, you can't just throw hooks in this game like you could. And, uh, maybe it had to be sensational. And I'm right here, I'm talking mad trash to these dudes was just, you just fading. That's all they was doing was fade, fade, fade. And I was like, bro, that's just garbage to me. If it's garbage when they do it, it's garbage when somebody else do it. I don't care who it is that do it. They need to fix that stuff and get it out the game. Just like they done got the post hooks out the game and you can't just throw them crazy no more they need to do the same thing with the phase man with the phase from three uh whatever but anyway tacino came back my girl angel melly my girl angel melly says she's ready for a showtime and wants and wants me and wants my uh, uh, wants to be my center in a wager so i found an opponent 1500 dollar pot our wager versus comp player fat boy dribbler and uh so they did win that man fat Ty, uh tacino they they did their thing they killed them guys on that uh, Angel Melly was like, she is so excited, all that stuff. And, uh, you know, it was dope as heck to see him do a wager with his girl, man. That was fire. Um, I really feel like, you know, like I said, it is good for the community to see Tacino back wagering and stuff like that. Uh, now, and I don't, I, I'm not on no he's, I'm not on no he's carrying the community type stuff. Cause people love to say that, but I don't feel like that's what it is. I feel like he's just an entertaining guy and he's entertaining the people, man. And that's just all to it. Like it ain't, it ain't no carry in the community. It ain't no putting it on his bike. It ain't none of that stuff, man. He just, he's just an entertaining guy putting out entertaining content. And we like to see people play comp people. Like that's all it is. We want to see good games played against good people. We don't want to see people play bombs all day. Like that's why we go to the regular park and stuff. But anyway, uh, like I said, shout out to Tacito, man. Hell of a streamer, hell of a, uh, hell of a, um, entertainer, but it's an exploit when you do it too. That's all I'm saying. I ain't taking nothing away from you because you got to be able to, but come on, man. We know that them, we know that them fading ass threes is, is, is crazy right now. It's an exploit. Anyway, up next, NBA 2K Toots, man. He's, he did a joint, a video, bro, on speed with ball. And he's like, this is why, uh, you know, the six seven is probably taking over because he made players be different heights and different everything. You got to go watch the video, but look, five, seven versus seven, three. Look at this seven, three guy get across the court. Um, um you know way faster with lower speed with ball this is something that we've always talked about man if you watch swan say the og grandmaster sensei he's been saying this for years he's been saying for years that if you're taller you got longer legs and therefore you don't need as much speed to cover the same amount of ground 
It's like that. In, it's like that for real. And for some reason, it's like that in the game. Uh, you should be slower. Like you, there is a break point where you are noticeably slower. But um, 2K2 is just one. Like like 85 speed with ball versus 95 speed with ball, and and you're getting beat. And like I said, it's, it's just a now. It's not. This is this is just with dribbling now. Just dribbling. Just regular, regular, extra regular, regular dribbling. This is not with um, you know something like. It's not with something like when you're um, when you're doing moves and stuff. We obviously know that guards are much quicker and stuff like that. But it's just something that he just wanted to point out and highlight and say, listen, this ain't right either. Like if 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 these guys felt slower or what have you, then maybe we won't have so many six sevens. But you know it is what it is, man. Everything in the 2K community is about finding an exploit and exploiting it to your advantage and making it look like you're better than what you are. Just like with the center that I made. Look, they, they told me I can make a center that can dribble a little bit or enough to get to the rim, play all the defense that I wanted to play, get all the block shots, all the rebounds, shoot threes, and oh, by the way, you don't even have to just lay the ball up. You can dunk two row. Come on, man. You know I was there. I'm, 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 I'm guilty as well. I feel like my build is a complete exploit, and everybody feels like their build is an exploit because otherwise they probably wouldn't make the build. Nobody's making a build to be, to be a regular player. Everybody's making builds that they feel like have a huge advantage over everybody else. And that's just the, the reality of the situation. Why make a bill if I don't think I've got an advantage over somebody or if I don't think I know something that you don't know about it? Just like with Tarsino, like I said with Tarsino and the fades, man. Them fades, them fades is, is broke. Now, I don't know what's going to happen when they take the fading threes out of the game, but Tarsino never really shot fading threes anyway until he got the uh, super takeover and stuff like that. Um, but I, I just don't know what's going to happen once those get out of the game. How how different his gameplay is going to have to be is all i'm saying but right now he riding high he on top and he ain't gotta worry about none of that because them phases broke as hell like i said man like i just gotta call the spade a spade a ball a ball a strike a strike if they broke and i curse them guys out for doing it that we played and we beat them then they gotta be broke when he do them too bro that's just all to it because like i said it, they was broken last gen and, and look what happened like people didn't even play the game and then now that they are completely busted and you know, we, we, we getting them wages man you know what I'm talking about? hey look it's good entertainment for me so it is what it is i know this video get a whole bunch of dislikes it is what it is man i gotta call like i said i gotta call it like i see it bro anyway y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man like i said it's entertaining as hell love tycino but them them fade them fades from three they broke bro they broke. Brute could do it every time. He's unmastered it, but he just don't do it because he like I, I don't I don't like that. You see Gambit do it all the damn time. We even got a move called a Gambit Shuffle where he go to the corner, take a step back, and then and fade. He probably did it in the vent, bro. It's broke. It needs to be addressed. And then we'll see. We can see some of the stuff that we really got uh, with the game. Y'all, let me know down what y'all think down in the comment section, man. It made for good entertainment though, so I can't hate on it. But uh. Definitely needs to be addressed. Anyway, I'm out of y'all next time, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Leave a like on the video. Give me a gym star down if you made it this far. And I'm out of y'all next time. Until next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, aka the People's Shell. Guys,